Hello everyone, welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson number 5. In this movie, I'm going to teach you 6 simple charting techniques that are extremely useful which you probably might not be aware of. So without wasting any more time, let's move ahead to trick number 1. Delete data on chart to adjust the source data. You have got this clustered column chart made beforehand which is linked to this table at its left. The chart indicates region-wise sales for months from January through June. Let us assume, for some reason, I do not wish to see the data for the eastern region on this particular chart. Readjusting the source data can be a bit tedious and this is where you can use our trick number 1. Since we do not want our eastern region, click on any one of the eastern region columns uh, which will select all eastern region columns at once. You can now simply go ahead and hit the delete key. The chart automatically readjusts uh, the source data. To recheck, you can simply right click on the chart area, select the select data option and observe the selection border. All regions except the regions uh, except the east region have been selected. Let us quickly move to track number 2. Copy and paste source data. On this sheet, we again have a clustered column chart with some sales rep names and the quarter wise sales figures over here. Below our source data is a table which is not included uh, in the chart. Assume this table is somewhere else on the sheet and we would like uh, to have it uh, on the chart as well. Instead of using the control key and selecting non contiguous ranges and unnecessarily complicating the process, you can simply copy the uh, data by pressing Ctrl C, uh, select it, copy it, click on the chart area and press the Ctrl V uh, keys to paste it. As you can observe, the chart adjusts accordingly. Moving on to trick number 3. Pulling out wedges from a pie chart. The title clearly suggests what we are trying to achieve here. On this pie chart, we are trying to pull out a piece of the pie as we would like to make it apparent to our viewers about the top sales rep contributing to almost 27% of our sales. To do that, click on, the, uh, click on that particular piece of the pie. This will select all the pieces. Click on the same piece again, which will now select only that particular piece. Click and hold your left mouse button and pull the piece out as much as you would like and then let go of the mouse button. The pie now looks something like this and you can have your viewers focus on that particular piece. Moving on to take number 4. Show data on the chart from hidden rows. On our source table, if we filter our sales rep columns, we can see that the chart reacts accordingly. For example, if I select only two of the sales reps, the chart reconfigures itself. There might be times for whatever reasons you might not uh, want this to happen. Even when you filter your source data, you want the chart to display hidden data as well. To do this, you can right click on the chart area. Uh, let me first uh, select all the sales reps. You can right click on the chart area, go to select data, click on hidden and empty cells and check this box in front of show data and uh, hidden and hidden rows and columns and click OK. OK again. Now try filtering the uh, source data. So even if you select only two sales reps, the data for all the reps will be uh, displayed on the chart. Trick number 5, resizing charts. There are certain techniques for resizing charts that you might need to be made aware of. This makes the process of resizing charts relatively easy. For example, if you want to resize a chart in such a way that the ch chart border is always in line with the cell grids, then click and hold your left, left, left mouse button on the cross arrow. Click and hold your left mouse button. Hold down the Alt key 
and try to resize your chart. The chart will automatically resize itself to match the cell grids. Similarly, you can repeat the same steps by holding down the control key instead of the alt key, which will, yeah, I'll, I'll show you that. Click the left mouse button and click the control key. The chart finds out the center of itself and adjusts its size keeping a fixed center. As you can see here, the center of the chart does not change. The last step for resizing charts, try using the shift key instead of using the alt or the control key which we used earlier. Resize itself based on the original length and width ratio which it had before our attempt was made to resize it. Let's try it. It will always have the uh, length to width ratio which it had previously. Moving on to elastic printing charts. If you observe the sheet, it has multiple charts on it. Even if you wish to print any one of the charts, all the charts that lie on the print, uh, selected print area will be printed. To see what I mean, you can go ahead and see the print preview by clicking on the print, print preview button. Now, if you want to print only one other chart, you have to click on that particular chart and now click the print preview button on the quick access toolbar. Here you can see that only the selected chart is ready for printing. You can now go ahead and print the chart by clicking on the print button after making all necessary print settings. I hope my video helped. If you like my videos, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like and leave your comments. You can also check out my website www.needforexcel.com where a lot of cool stuff will soon be posted and exercise files for all my videos will be available. Thank you.